Nothing sucks more than being halfway through a photo outing or about to photograph a spectacular moment, only to realize that your battery is just about dead and you don't have another. These are some things that I do to avoid getting myself into the situation, because photography is all about capturing those moments, and I want to make sure that my battery is up for it. This video will be tailored towards the ever popular mirrorless cameras, which if you use one, you know how much they eat up batteries, and the menus you see here will be on a Fujifilm camera, but nearly all cameras have similar settings. So consult your manual for details. I kind of break up this battery saving strategy into different areas, displays, focus, and accessories. Looking at the displays, one of the things that can eat up the battery the fastest is how bright that display is. You may just always leave it as bright as possible so that it's easy to see, but that battery juice is just going to get sucked up faster than you can believe. Go into your display settings and keep that display only as bright as you need it. Then turn off the auto review feature. That's that thing where after you press the shutter button, the last image you captured is automatically displayed on the screen. If your LCD screen is usually off, but it keeps coming on after every image that you take, that's going to eat up your battery also. Not to mention distract you from actually capturing photos if you're constantly looking at the screen after every photo. Use the eye sensor. This is like the little switch if you're using the viewfinder. All displays will be off until you bring the camera up to your face, and as soon as you bring it up to your face, the viewfinder will turn on. When you put the camera back down, all displays will turn off, even as the camera is still on. Now let's look at focus. Your autofocus motor is using battery power. You may not want to use manual focus all the time, and that's fine. There are some things that we can do to our autofocus system so it uses less power. Turn off the autofocus assist. That's that little lamp that lights up in dark scenes to help the autofocus system find contrast. Many of today's autofocus systems work so well in low light that this is unnecessary. If it's so dark that your camera can't focus without that little lamp, you probably need some more light anyways. Turn off the pre-autofocus. This is a system on many cameras that leaves the autofocus system on all the time even if you're not pressing any buttons. In theory, this can help the camera get a faster autofocus lock when you do want to capture a photo, since it's already been working on the focus. But again, today's systems are so good that for most situations, it's just a waste of power. Use single shot autofocus. A lot of people stay in continuous autofocus even when capturing photos of still life. Like pre-autofocus, this is causing that autofocus motor to work unnecessarily long. Unless you're tracking a moving subject, set it to single, get the focus lock, and let the motor rest. Now looking at other accessories. Image stabilization is an awesome piece of technology, but those little gyros that keep the image stable use up battery power. Turn off the stabilization system unless you really need sharp photos at slow shutter speeds. Most lenses have a switch, or you can program a custom button or quick menu to rapidly do this. Your camera likely has other wireless gadgets like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or GPS. Turn those off manually or go into airplane mode and shut these down when you don't need them. We're approaching winter here in the Northern Hemisphere and cold weather can really affect your battery performance. Yes, shrinkage in the cold applies to batteries also. If I can't keep the camera insulated and warm, I'll take the battery out of the camera and stick it in my pocket, preferably close to my body so it stays warm. I do this with spares also. External battery packs are readily available today for a, an affordable chunk of change and they can offer a quick charge when you're not using your camera. When I'm on a day long shoot, I often keep a battery pack in my camera bag and I just plug my camera into it when I'm not using it. And that helps top it off a little bit. If you're out on the trail for a long period of time, solar chargers work too. Just don't expect as fast a charge using portable solar panels. And finally, one of the best things that you can do to preserve your battery is to have shutter discipline. This is a whole other topic, but just be deliberate about what you photograph. 
treat it like a film camera. Pretend you have a limited number of exposures. Just because your memory card can hold 3,000 photos doesn't mean you should fill it up. No one wants to come home and sort through 1,000 photos from a day's outing. So make every photo count, and this will make your battery last longer. None of these tips on their own will increase the number of shots per charge from 400 to 500, but it could give you the capability to get that one photo that you otherwise wouldn't. And combined, it really will make a difference in how long your battery lasts. Let me know what other battery saving tips you have in the comments. Stay tuned for more tips like this every week, and I'll see you soon.